Let's do it. This is how you watch Hey, this is how you watch Hey, keeping the faith in the king, and the patience will give us the strength. to Israel. Hey brother, I ask you a question. Hermano, come here real quick. Is your familia? Hey family, come over here. Uh, uh, you speak English. You speak English. So, do you know according to the Bible who you are according to the Bible? Do, do you know your identity according to the Bible? What's your identity, bro? What's your, what's your nationality? What would what would you call yourself today? A what? A son of God. Okay, that is true. <clears throat> but let's say I ask you, what nation do you come from? What would you say? You don't know. Give me Psalms one, uh, uh, Isaiah one and three, real quick, brother. I'm gonna deal with you because. We're out here to teach our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the people on that side, that we are the Israelites, God's chosen people. When you said a son of God, you truly are a son of God. You truly are a descendant of a holy, righteous people, you and your family. But we haven't known this and understood this because we've been taught religion and lies about the Bible. That's why God has sent us out here to teach his people your true identity and what you must do to get the kingdom of heaven. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox is a, a dumb animal. It's, it's uh, it, it, it doesn't know anything. But the ox knows his owner. He knows who he belongs to, what nation he comes from. Read. And the ass, his master's crib. The ass is a donkey. It's stubborn, right? But he knows his master's crib. He knows where his uh, his master's house is at. Uh, we don't know who we are and where we come from. But these animals do. We. But Israel does not know. But who? But Israel does not know. But Israel does not know. Israel, his chosen people, they don't know who they are. They don't know what nation they come from. They don't know who their master is. Give me Psalms 83 real quick. Why is that, brother? How come, because I asked what nation you come from, when your answer was, I don't know. That was Bible prophecy right there. Israel does not know. That was Bible prophecy because we've been destroyed as a people for us not keeping the laws and commandments. We've been we go through these curses now, and we lost our identity. But through the loving, mercy, kindness of God, He's waking us back up in these last days. Give me, well, give me what you got. It's the Book of Psalms, chapter eighty-three, verse one. Bring it out. Keep not thy silence, O God. Uh, Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. This is King David praying to the Most High. King David is our forefather. King David, we come from the same lineage as all of the holy prophets in this Bible. That's right. right. right? We are the people that come from the people of the Bible. Right. We are Israel that don't know who we are. King David, our forefathers, praying to God, saying, hold not your peace and keep not still. Quit allowing us to be at the lowest state and quit allowing us to be persecuted by another nation. Right. Because, read that again. Hello? For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. For lo, your enemies, God, have made an angry gathering. Guess who has made the angry gathering 
against God and his people. The United Nations, the countries and, and uh, governments that rule this earth are against God and his chosen people. That's right. Read what you got. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They that hate you, hold on, brother. They that hate you have lifted up their head and came into power. This is Bible prophecy of the state of our people that uh, we're living in today. The conditions of our people is based on the Bible prophecy. King David is praying for us and letting us know that other nations are against us. These nations that rule this earth and the, and the money says, God we trust. They like to say uh, the Constitution and uh, freedom and the uh, pursuit of happiness. And they put on this whole facade that they're for God, right? But God, but King David said, these nations are against you. They're your enemies. Right. Right? Wait. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have done what? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. These same people that rule this earth, like Donald Trump and his people. Do you think that he's for the Hispanics? No. Do you think he wants the Hispanics here in this land, which was theirs in the beginning? Right. Right. No. Right. They are taking crafty counsel against your people. These nations have come a, come together. What's crafty counsel? Let's uh let's change their identity so they don't know who they are. Another crafty council. Let's change their language to separate them. Let's change the language of the Hispanics from the blacks so they don't know that they brothers. Right. Another crafty council. Let's call them illegal immigrants no. in the land which used to belong to them. That's right. They have taken crafty council against God's chosen people. Read. And consulted against the hidden ones. The hidden ones are us, brother. We are the hidden ones because we don't know who we are. Right. But today, what's your name, brother? Mito. Mito. My name's El Kanai, uh, brother Mito. Nice to meet you. Mito, you're going to learn today that you're not hidden no more. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Right. That's your true identity. The Bible, the promises, the glory of the kingdom of heaven, the rulership belongs to us. Right. God's chosen people belongs to you. You said it in the beginning. I'm a son of God. You are because it's in your spirit to know that. But now you got to understand, how are you? Where'd you come from? What, what are your laws? What is your heritage? This is what you're going to learn in the Bible today. You're not going to learn that in church houses. You're not going to learn that in religion. Because another crafty council they took in against God's people. Let's give them Catholicism. Let's give them the Virgin Mary. Let's give them religion to separate them from the truth of God. Right. We. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Do what? Come. Let us cut them off from being a nation. These nations that hate God has said, let us come together and cut them off from being a nation. You see how much tribes there are on this sign, brother? Look at that sign. I want you to read the nationalities. Right there on the right hand, the American blacks, West Indies, the Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans. Those are the names we identify today. The names on the left is what God calls us. That's right. These nations that hate God, that rule this earth, has said, let's cut all those people off from being one nation. Look. We are a huge, righteous nation that we feel like, what do they say? You guys are the minority. Bring it out. Right? Don't they say, what a minority? But we, the most High said, we are like the sands of the sea that can't be numbered. That's right. We are the majority on this earth. Yes. Right. We are the righteous seed that God has put on this earth. Right. But the nation that hates us said, let's cut them off from being a nation. So what? That the name of Israel may be in no more 
in remembrance. That the name of what? The name of Israel. The name of what? The name of Israel. That the name of Israel, remember, God said Israel does not know who they are. Right? My people don't consider. These nations said that the name of Israel be no more. Have you ever have you been to church? Have you learned about the uh, Bible? Have you ever heard about Israel in the Bible? Have you ever heard that you are an Israelite according to the Bible? Because that's been hidden from us, brother. They don't want us to know that. Because once we do know that, then we start to repent. Then we start to come back as sons of gods on this earth. Right. And when we do that and come back as a nation, that's when Christ, the black Messiah, that's is going to return and save us from our enemies. That's the end result of why we out here. Give me uh, Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 7 real quick. That's why we out here, brother, is to teach our people the true identity, to come back to our laws and commandments, and to remember who we are according to the Bible. Religion, the church houses, everything that's set up here in this society has only been set up to destroy us, to keep us from understanding who we are as a nation. They don't want us to know who we are. You got that? Eight. 18 and 7. It's the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 18, verse 7. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous. So God's people in the last days is going to accept the salvation. The salvation. Give me Luke 1 and 68 real quick. It's sal hey, brother Mito, is salvation for everybody? Is salvation for everybody? Where did we learn that from? Bible. Does the Bible say that? Does the Bible really say that? The Bible don't say that. I'm going to show you who salvation is for. Read right. what you got. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Yeah. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The God of who? The God of Israel. Oh, the God of everybody. The God of Israel. This Bible that's in all your church houses says that the God of this Bible is the God of Israel. That's right. Have you ever heard of that? No, because the nations have said, let's cut them off so the name of Israel will be no more in remembrance. That's right. That's the whole crafty counsel that they have did against our people. But we got to understand, the God of this Bible is the God of Israel, of us. Wait. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved. That we should be what? That we should be saved. Oh, well, last scripture, well, last scripture. Where your family at? Oh, y'all catch the bus? I am. Research that, brother. Look up that information. You are Israelite from the tribe of Issachar. Your family depends on you to get right so they can get salvation as well. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.